Hi there, it's Megan, and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to use AdSense responsive ad units in DFP. Responsive design has become accepted as the standard for website development these days. Despite this, few people know that you can actually use DFP tags in conjunction with AdSense responsive creatives on your site. Right now, we're going to show you how to do this. Some of the steps will require a little code and will mostly be done outside of the DFP interface. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before proceeding, it's worth emphasizing that this lesson may be quite advanced, particularly for those who have limited knowledge of coding. This lesson also requires the use of jQuery and Twitter Bootstrap in the HTML and CSS of your site. If you are not comfortable with jQuery, Twitter Bootstrap, or basic coding, then we recommend holding off on this lesson until your coding skills are more proficient. With this disclaimer aside, let's move forward. In the digital space, things are always changing. Your site's design, content, and development should work in concert with the device your viewers happen to use when visiting your website. Responsive ads influence how and where media ads are placed, depending on whether the web user views your site on a desktop or a mobile device. Since there is no one-size-fits-all approach, you can create a more fluid and dynamic website by incorporating AdSense responsive ad units. Step 1. The first step in this process is to generate two ad units from your DFP account. One ad unit will be for the desktop, and the second ad unit will be the responsive ad to be displayed on mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets. In the example for our lesson, we will generate 300 by 250 to desktops and 250 by 250 to mobile. Step 2. After generating the two ad units from your DFP account, copy the ad tags codes to Notepad for easy reference later. Step 3. Open a text editor. If you're using Notepad, you can open a new window and access the CSS files in your Twitter Bootstrap setup. Step 4. Now it's time to configure the media screen components of Twitter Bootstrap CSS. If you're unfamiliar with Twitter Bootstrap CSS, don't sweat it. It's a free and open source front end web framework providing both HTML and CSS templates for creating websites and applications. You can download the program online and begin using it immediately. To create the suitable media screen components using Twitter Bootstrap CSS, input the following code for desktop. and the following code for your mobile or responsive ad. Step 5. Take a look at the HTML code. At this point, you will want to add a div for the mobile responsive ad. We used hidden phone in the previous step CSS configuration, so we will be consistent in calling out that class here in the HTML. Step 6. Now is a good time to save all your changes in the CSS and HTML files. After you save, preview your HTML code in a browser just to make sure that the code is written properly. Step 7. If the HTML preview looks correct, return to Notepad and open the HTML where you want the ad tags to appear. Set up two divs in the HTML, one for each ad tag. Here is an example of what the code should look like with the divs in the HTML. Step 8. After inputting the two divs in the HTML, it's time to invoke the Google Publisher tag call on the script section of the HTML by inputting the following. Step 9. Proceed by creating a new script container. Don't forget to include the source for the jQuery. Step 10. With your jQuery script god snippet from Step 9, insert the following code. Step 11. We are almost finished creating our responsive ad. Click the downloadable text link here and open the Twitter Bootstrap startup to preview the full HTML source code. Step 12. Finally, it's time to preview the DFP responsive ad in a browser. If you happen to see any issues, you can return to the HTML source code text and revise as needed. Before implementing the code to your website, be sure to always preview the final ad in a browser to make sure there are no coding errors and that the jQuery code is loading properly. 
Tools such as Developer and Firebug, which you can find online, can help you facilitate this. Congratulations! You've created an AdSense responsive ad unit in DFP. While the progress may seem rather complex at first, with practice you'll be creating responsive ad units with ease. Considering your viewership likely visits your website from a variety of different viewports, desktop, laptop, tablets, and smartphones, you will want to ensure that your site can roll with the various devices. Serving responsive ads ensures that the most well-suited ads display depending on your visitors' devices. And this is a win-win for both you and your advertiser. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!